Hey guys, it's Tuesday. We're finally heading out of the house today. Gonna go check the P.O. box, hit up some thrift stores, see if we can find anything, come home, pack orders, um, set stuff out for the dollar auction, work on cleaning the house. It's gonna be a good day. We're gonna go get some coffee first though. Hey guys, found a couple of things today. Um, the only thing was I found a really nice pair of like rainbow Converse um, that would sell for around 45 but they didn't have a price on them and this particular Goodwill's policy is if there's no price tag, they won't sell it to you and they'll put it out like another day. So maybe I could stop by here tomorrow and see if they end up putting them out. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of bummed about that. But anyways, we did find this for $10. It is a Fenton Milk Glass Hobnail Ruffle Vase. Could probably get around 30-ish for it. I'm gonna post it locally as well, just in case, but I thought at $10 I could at least double my money on that. And then we did find a different pair of shoes. I'll show you just one, but these are Crocs, which those are actually really cute. Um, these sell for about $30 to $40. So initial investment, we paid around, what did we pay? $17.14. So we'll easily make our money back with the sale of at least one of those items. Uh, I'm just really bummed about those Converse. They were really cool. And um, most of the shoes in there are priced around six bucks. I assume those would have been maybe around 10, but even then I would have taken them, but. Hey guys, it's later in the afternoon. We're still outsourcing. I'm not tired of it yet. Um, so I want to show you what I found. I saw this hanging in the purse aisle. I'm like, huh, that kind of looks like Juicy Couture. Guess what? It is Juicy Couture. It is Juicy Couture and we paid $12 um, because it doesn't say it on the outside, but in here you can see Love Juicy with the crown, which is, you know, the the design, the logo. Um, so yeah, that is so cool. I'm going to throw up a comp here that I found on Mercari. So I don't know, guys. Oh, I guess it does say Juicy Couture on the little thing. Um, sorry, I'm just really excited. This is so cool. I've never found like a nice Juicy Couture purse that is actually worth like a lot of money. Um, it's almost like carpet on the outside. It's kind of weird. And another thing that I found there, which isn't as exciting, but it's kind of an oddity. This little, it's like a pharmaceutical display, um, for four bucks. Picked it up. There's one other one listed that's green on eBay. Um, I'm probably not going to list it for that much, but wow i am shocked and now i'm i was so excited i like scanned the whole purse section i checked everything out just in case someone happened to donate another one but that is adorable even the ladies at the checkout were like oh that's such a unique purse and i was hoping they wouldn't notice that it was juicy couture um because i'd hate for them to be like sorry we can't sell this to you or something i don't know it's one of those things where you find it and you just want to leave and secure the item so yeah, um, we have a couple more stops we're gonna do and then I'm gonna head home. So hopefully we find something else. Hey guys, it's still the 14th. We've got eight orders going out for $12 plus shipping. We've got this aluminum avocado green Dutch oven going out for 25 plus shipping. We've got, found them, they're these Dr. Scholl's little ankle boots. $8 plus shipping in the blue section we've got this little painted westmoreland little satin blue vase then for 15 plus ship we've got this vintage mcm lampshade thing right here the giant yellow thing got that at a sale for i think it was two bucks earlier this summer figured it had a cool design and it would be a good replacement so we got this sold i had it listed for 20 um, I did have it up for more, but after we moved and relisted it, 37 plus shipping. This is one of the first items that I sourced here. This Dymo label printer. Dymo label printer right here. Paid, I believe it was like three bucks, five bucks, something like that. I remember saying it in a video, but I can't remember right now. Next for 75 plus ship, I did pick up these pants originally for myself they're called trip pants see the logo right here um they don't fit me unfortunately they're just a little too small so luckily i got them on sale on mercari i did the thing where i list 30 items and got 20 dollars off a purchase so i ended up only paying around 
it was $20 that I paid up front, but I also had $30 sitting in my Mercari account. So paid about $50, um, sold them for $75 when I purchased them originally at $60 um, before all the things were taken off. So we're going to make a little bit of money and then I'll make, you know, at least make my money back on them. Um, so maybe I can purchase another pair in the future that will fit. <laughs> for $15, we've got this little Kalimba right here. I can't remember how long ago I picked this up. I can't remember if it was here or at the old house that I picked it up, but it comes with this cute little case. And lastly, we sold a little crystal figurine, the dragon one. There we go. Five bucks for that little dragon crystal figurine. This one is marked um, Glass Baron brand. They don't sell for great money, but I have sold the really good ones already. Um, anyways, that is all that we sold today. And I do have um, one more thing I picked up at a thrift store that I haven't showed you guys yet, so I'm going to go ahead and go grab it and show you. Alright, so the last place I stopped at was that warehouse thrift store type place that I all always tell you guys about. Got this. I paid in total $7, so they charged me 5 for this. It is new. Everything inside is new. It's just a little dusty. Um, I could probably get around 15 to 20 for it. It's just something that's easy to, to sell for me. And for $2, I got this blanket. Um, the only reason why I grabbed it is because it has this Lion Crafters North Bay Products Made in USA tag right here. And it has no stains. It probably needs to be washed. It was in their donation section. So that means someone just recently donated this. And I grabbed it. Um, as you can see, it does have a little anchor design. It's a cool blanket. Hey guys, it's Wednesday. I'm back at that dang Goodwill that took those shoes from me yesterday because they didn't have a price tag on them. And I'm going to attempt to go find them um, while I'm on my way to my hair appointment. So, fingers crossed. I had a dream last night that I found them. So hopefully I do. Hey guys, new haircut. Um, so as you can see by the clip that was before this video, I could see the shoes in the back. They didn't put them out yet. So I'm going to try to go back over there here in a little bit. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they put them out. Um, but I couldn't believe that I could see them. Anyways, I did stop my PO, stop by my PO box and I have a package here from Resell the Ride, Jessica and Zena. And it's a little heavy. I don't know what it is. They wanted to send me something and I'm not sure exactly what. So we're going to go ahead and open it right here with you guys. Ooh, I see a skeleton thing. What? Some bracelets? Black is my happy color. I love this. That's awesome. Okay, what else? What else? Ooh some little oh they're nail stickers there's some little stickers but they're all nail stickers oh my gosh i have to do my nails this would be perfect for my birthday we're gonna do some cute little nails and i want to use these we're gonna try to see about those if i get around to my nails anytime soon what else they oh okay so they went and dumpster dived at five below for a bunch of books so they sent me some of their books oh my gosh that is so awesome. Yes! And, oh, there's some more. Hold on. They sent me more. There's so much. Oh my gosh. More books. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't like have any like witchy books. So these would be so cool. Not even for just reading, but for decoration too. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much. I love this. All right, guys. Oh, I also have something else. I did uh, order on whatnot from a couple people the other day. I'm back on my whatnot kick, unfortunately. Kind of a money sink. Um, <laughs> well, I ordered the shirt from Art of Resell. He included a sticker. So this is a Nike SB shirt. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Yeah, guys, I am going to go ahead and go back to the other thrift store, see if they put those shoes out because I want them. Um, and then I'm gonna go home and list. See you guys later. Hey guys, wanted to show you a few things really quick. Um, we're getting ready to record a podcast. So I wanna show you what I got. Stopped at a garage sale on the way to my hair appointment and I picked up these. She wanted me to make an offer. So I said $5 for the two. They're really cool actually. If you have multiple, 
you can like tangle them together, which is really cool. So I have a pair. Don't mind my computer making a bunch of noise. Let me turn that off. Okay, so we ended up paying 10. Next we have this, it's a little jewelry box. I'm trying to be careful because it is reflective and I just don't want it reflecting anything. Um, For $4, I might be able to make maybe 20, 30 bucks. And then for 50 cents, this little cute little crochet teacup and saucer. That is so cute for 50 cents. That's all I got from her. And then found a curb alert and I got these glasses in the original box for free. They're gold, they have the gold rim. Really cute. I actually really like them. Um, if I didn't already have decent glasses myself, I would think about keeping those. Although I'm not fond of the gold. Um, anyways, those are free. I'm glad they come with the original box and everything. Next, I went to Goodwill. Found this cast iron B. It's like a topper for something. I figured I would take a chance at $7.99. What else did we get from there? I got this bag of Barbies for $6. Um, I did see a Bratz doll in there. And she has a purple streak in her hair, which I was able to find that she is from like a certain line of Bratz. And there's a few other dolls in here, um, but I just got it for the Bratz doll alone. I don't know. I felt like spending money today because we got them. These were the shoes that I picked up yesterday. And I went to the checkout and I was like, hey, there's no price on them. And the guy was just like, we can't sell these today. I was, I was kind of upset because I'm like, these are cool. Anyways, um, I saw them in the back, as you can see today. Well, after my hair appointment, I went back to that Goodwill and there was a different guy restocking. The guy that originally told me I couldn't buy these yesterday was at the front counter, but there was a guy restocking everything from a new cart. And I was like, hey, I was like, I pointed towards the back. I'm like, there's a pair of shoes back there that I tried to buy yesterday and you guys wouldn't let me because there was no price on them. I'm like, can I buy them today? And he's like, sure, let me go check. And he's like, oh, they're 10 bucks. Are you okay with that? I was like, yeah, so we got them. I'm so happy, um, which is why I felt like spending money, uh, I think, because I got the shoes and I couldn't stop thinking about it. I literally had a dream about them. But yeah, $9.99 is what we paid. Look at the bottoms. Those are cool. Let's see. And the last thing we got was I kept finding these glasses. At first, I found two. So there's one. Here's a second one. I ended up finding four in total. I ended up finding four in total. You could see like someone must have donated like their their antique booth or something. Um, they won 25 for the set. It looks like it says five plus one. So I don't know um, what happened there, but I found four. They are Star Wars. They're from Think Geek. Paid $2 a piece. Um, I see different comps everywhere. I see some sets of two. I see some sets of like eight. I figured for four and we have like a decent variety here. They kind of look like glassy baby to me. I don't know. They were kind of like that shape and they were kind of weird looking. Um, I picked them up and I think that's all I got from Goodwill. Yeah. So that's everything we got today. I'm going to go record podcasts with Mo. I did want to mention um, for the Planes to Profit meetup, we've got quite a few more tickets sold. So I appreciate it. I've had a couple people comment on some things. Um, even some people local here in Nebraska. So I'm super excited to meet those people, people in my state that resell, you know, that's really cool. Um, we also have our sponsors now. We have My Reseller Genie and American Bubble Boy. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry that this is going off so much. Um, and we finally got our first supporter, Kevin Commonwealth Picker. So if you check out our website now, they are all on there. Anyways, I'm gonna go record podcasts. I'm going to go chill, list some stuff after we're done. Maybe go take a walk tonight. I don't know, but I'll see you guys later.